Right, so I called the hotel and told them there's a few more people coming to the Arthurs. Yeah, well, they'd be happy about that, you know, more money behind the oh. bar. Wedding plans a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, could you stop exaggerating? It's the smallest wedding in the world. Yeah. What are you up to? Um, I'm checking out some honeymoon locations. Hang on. I thought we said no honeymoon. Yeah, well, I just... I saw this deal online and, look, Paul, once I started, I actually couldn't stop. Mauritius? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, I know we talked about Barbados, but, listen, I was thinking 10 days and there's loads of stuff for the kids to do. Hang on, hang on. I thought we said was, this one thought was going to be small, you know, intimate. No bling. Yeah, well, that's, you know, the wedding and all those bits. Um, my dress is off the rack. At least we can do is splash out in our honeymoon. What's the point otherwise? The point is that wasn't the plan. It, come on, it's not going to be much of a honeymoon with the kids there, is it? We'll have plenty of time in our own life. Yeah, but not when it matters. You know, in the evening when we're going to have a candlelit dinner. We're going to be together, just the two of us. OK, well, that's true. Yeah. So why don't we book a country five-star hotel in Ireland, you know? Mm-hmm. Two nights, all the trimmings, and we get that all the lowers, our cast look after the kids. Would you actually prefer that? Oh, come on, this must be about us. Not, not the kids are not long haul treks halfway around the world. Yeah, well, it is a 16-hour flight, so... Yeah. But I just want to be with you, you know? Mm. OK? Yeah, OK. Right. Let's just keep our feet in the ground. Mm. Yeah. Do you want another cuppa? Oh, yeah, look. 